the best taco shop in Louisville, Bandito Taqueria Mexicana. Please don't be offended, Luchador. Well, Luchador is a different taco. It's a different animal, so. But what about like Panchitos? Panchitos tacos are really good, or El Mocajete. I don't know, man. How much real do you have here? <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard for me to say what first attracted me to Matt. I will say that I feel like we had a little moment where I think he caught me looking at him from across the room, like in a movie almost. And then I kind of made my way over to talk to him a little more. I think we bonded early on over tacos. Cheap carnitas tacos. She was a little awkward, but very cute. <laughs> I'm still a little awkward. <laughs> and very cute. We met at a Yelp event. We knew about each other beforehand. Yes, absolutely. So um, I had actually read his reviews and he reviewed the bookstore where I worked. He pointed out that our dumpster was a great place to get boxes for moving. <laughs> and so when we met, I explained to him, you know, if you come inside, <laughs> we'll actually give you the boxes if you ask for them. So we, I was aware of him before we met. And then we met at a wine bar in San Diego at a Yelp Elite event. I didn't have to like try to make a move or be like, you should call me sometime because I could just direct message him on Yelp. Do you remember meeting me the first night? You had a side ponytail that night. I did have a side ponytail that night. Oh uh, yeah, that was a look. If I tell somebody we met on Yelp, I think some people are surprised. They go, wait a minute, isn't that for restaurant reviews? They don't realize that there is this whole community aspect to it. I did not expect to find the woman I love on Yelp, um, but that was certainly a very nice fringe benefit. We all need community in our lives, certainly, uh, but it really helps to have a special person. And I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trade her for all the tacos. <laughs> Fortunately, we don't have to make that choice. Right.